Hey everybody, Jim with Air Skirts here. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Air Skirts and show you how to set them up on this fifth wheel trailer. So Air Skirts is a unique new product that unlike other products, doesn't require any installation on your RV. So no drilling holes into your RV, no taping together styrofoam boards, no building anything out of wood and no hay bales. It's much faster and they inflate in place underneath your RV and hold themselves in place by virtue of air pressure. So this is an air skirts kit. Our kits come with everything you need and are sized based just on the size and length of your RV and how high it sits off the ground. In this case, we have our large high clearance kit that we're gonna put on this trailer today. So the kit comes with a number of things, these tubes, a welcome kit, a carry and storage bag, an 800 watt electric air pump that is a high velocity pump. And then there are some add-ons that we'll show you as well, things like our tire covers and our tire wedges. So let's get started. Okay, so these are our tire wedges. These are an optional component to the air skirt system. They sit in between the tires on the top and or bottom. Most people go with both. Uh, after we show you that, we're gonna put the tire covers on over these. So with all of our air skirts tubes, we have this HC valve here. I'm gonna detach that. And then I'm going to attach the air pump to it. The trick here, just put a little air in. That helps us get it positioned correctly. And if you need to let air out, you can always push on that stem in the middle. And we'll quickly position the tire wedge in between the tires. Push in, turn. You always wanna make sure you close these when you're done. That's tire wedge one. Tire wedge two, same thing. And there we go, our wedges are in place. These are our air skirts tire covers. These are dual axle tire covers. They come in a set, so all you need is one set to go on both sides of your trailer. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these. These are made out of a very durable 600D polyester backed with PVC. They have color fastness. They'll last you a very long time and like all our products, they're warrantied for five years. So we just wanna work the covers over each tire independently. And then we want to pull down in the back until the tires are covered. And then for appearances, we can just tuck things in. And there we go. When you receive your air skirts kit, you're going to get this welcome box. This has a number of things you're going to want to take a look at in it. First and foremost is the owner's manual. This will show you everything we're showing you today, plus have some more detail about safety and how to set up your air skirts. The next thing I'm going to show you are these corner protectors. If there's anything sharp and pointy under your trailer or your coach, we wanna put these on and try to protect the tubes from possible puncture. Now it's very unlikely that you will puncture their tube. They are made out of a military grade material. However, we like to do this just to be safe. So here with this trailer, we have a little bit of a sharp object by the stair here. I'm gonna take one of these included corner protectors. I peeled the adhesive backing off. I'm just gonna put it in place here and cover up that sharp edge so that if a tube comes in contact with it, we avoid the risk of puncture. Now it's worth pointing out that these tubes are very hard to puncture. They're made out of a military grade nylon mesh coated with PVC. However, we better safe than sorry, so we do like to have you put those in place before your first setup, and that's the only time you'll need to do it. So I'm here with Jennifer. We're gonna go ahead and put our first tube into place. This is our eight foot by 34 inch tube. So this is the largest tube we offer. You can see it's quite manageable, just at a mere 13 pounds. And we're gonna go ahead and roll this into place and then inflate it. Quite simple process. We unfold it. And you'll see we have a couple features here. So uh, on both sides, we have inflate deflate valves. So you'll inflate with the same valve you use to pack up your kit later and deflate. Over by Jennifer, there's another one. So you have easy access on either side. That valve that Jennifer is showcasing is our pressure over release valve. This is a safety feature should the air pressure grow too high inside your air skirts tube. We're gonna start now by connecting the pump and inflating the tube. Okay, so now we're gonna connect the air pump to the valve. We just do that by inserting the nozzle in and turning it a little bit to the right. 
Uh, as we inflate, we may need to position the tube a little bit to make sure it snugs up against everything that we want it to, but we're gonna go ahead and inflate it now. We might have to rotate it a le little bit. We might have to shift it, but let's go. Okay, now we just close these valve caps back up. And what you're gonna see is that the tube has expanded behind virtually everything here, leaving a nice seal. You'll notice I started to adjust the tube so that it fit around the wheels as we inflated. And then we'll just move on to the next tube. Okay, now we have our next tube in position. We're gonna go ahead again and connect the pump. And start inflating. Okay, now normally we would have connected our sewer drain first, so our hose would already be in place, but as you can see, I still have access to the dump valve here. Okay, so now we're gonna set up the front of this trailer. In this trailer, we've chosen to use a six foot tube in the front. However, every trailer is different. That's why you have a variety of different tubes and sizes that you can set up for your trailer. So let's get this one inflated. Okay, now we're gonna go around the rest of the perimeter of our RV, and we're gonna set up the rest of the tubes just the way we did with the other ones. One more great feature of air skirts is they're very resilient to high wind conditions. So even though we don't have a lot of pressure in these tubes, pretty much no amount of wind is gonna move them. As you can see, I can kick them pretty hard with my foot and they don't budge. Okay, so now that we're all set up, we'll notice that everything is in place. Tubes are soft to the touch. We don't need to over inflate these. And we've created a perimeter all the way around the RV, creating a skirt that will retain a lot of that heat on the underbelly of your RV. Now, because we have this, very thick PVC material, as well as a huge column of trapped air that acts as a natural insulator, things are gonna stay nice and warm under there.